Hello my lovelies, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to um, a bonus tarot card reading. I had someone uh, put a comment in one of my love videos last week saying that um, money and career is what more people want at the moment than they do a love reading. So I thought, okay, well, I haven't got time this week to do a money and career reading for all the signs individually. So I thought I'd just do a general one. If this is something that you like and something that you want more of, then please do let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, give it a bit of a like and a subscribe. If you want it, it's free. It's not gonna cost you nothing. So let's get into it. So Angel Spirit guys, what's the message that we need to, do, to know today about money and career? What do we need to know about money and career? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need. Okay. Right, so this is the uh, Life Purpose deck. Um, oh, a career change. Oh. Uh, you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you deserve and desire. Okay, so maybe you uh, have been thinking about um, starting a new career. Maybe the career that you're in no longer um, fulfills you and you want to try something new. Um, and this is the time. The angels are saying if you want to change your career, time is now. As you can see right at the top, you've got the angel and they are just a beaming light. You are the lighthouse. Okay, so sometimes you just need to speak your truth and speak what you want and attract people in to you with your career. If your career right now, the job you're in, even if it's not a like a, a great career, maybe it could just be you, it's just a, just a job. It's not, it's not something that I would wanna do full time for the rest of my life. At the moment, it's just like a job. Then it's saying, start on your career path that you really wanna do. When we have a career, our work takes up a lot of our time. So you need to do something that really fulfills you. And if you can't give up your current position now to start your own business or to start studying towards some, towards a career change, then find a balance to be able to do it um, together. So you go to work, you do what you need to do, and then you take out one hour a day rather than watch Netflix or scroll on your phone to study, um, to apply for new jobs, to learn how to start a business, whatever it may be, uh, take that time to be able to find it. You've got to do something with your life that really, really fulfills you, that really lights you up, that you really enjoy, and that you're not kind of waking up every day thinking, oh, when is it Friday? Oh God, here we go back to Monday. Who wants to live that way? Have a career that really, really lights you up and really brings you joy. And remember, profit follows passion. If you're doing something you're really passionate about and you're consistent with it, then the profit will follow. It won't happen straight away, which is what we all want, but it will follow. So if you're thinking of doing something different with your life, do it. Don't hesitate. Don't stop. Just, just do it. So, Angel Spirit guys, what do we need to know about money and career, please? Show us the cards we need to see. What do we need to know about money and career, please? Okay, well, that one jumped in there. I'll just grab that. <gasps> Two of Cups. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, show me the cards I need to see, please. What else do we need to know about uh, money and career? That one there. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. You're going to be very abundant. This is exciting already. I'm so excited. Okay. That one. And the High Priestess and the Strength card. So two major arcanas. So the Two of Cups is about a partnership. Um, maybe you are about to uh, apply, maybe there's a promotion at your current position that you're thinking whether you want to go for it or not. And... Uh, why not? I mean, what, what's stopping you, really? Yourself. That's it. The only thing that's stopping you is you. If you get it or not, at least you tried. Um, it could be you could be signing contracts to a new position, a new job. You somebody be, could be coming in to offer you a new job that's something that you really want to do. Maybe you've been sharing uh, certain things about your life on social media or some or some other platform um, that you're getting your message out there, blogging or 
or YouTube or whatever, and someone's seen that, and they're going to come in with an offer for you. This is also, uh, you could be signing contracts, you could be working with someone, there could be a friend that you've been thinking about starting a business, like baking or um, hair and makeup for weddings or whatever it, whatever it may be, like sorting out cars or something like that, even painters and decorators. Um, and then maybe you two are going to start thinking about starting a business together. So you're going to have somebody coming in with either a contract or a promotion or somebody coming in to offer you um, some course ideas. You know, maybe someone's uh, got uh, has been doing courses and they're going to come in and offer you like a discount code or something like that because they do them and now they know that you want to do them. I'm not sure, like that's just, I don't know why that came out, but it did, so there we go, it's out there. Um, but also I feel that some of you could be starting a business with a friend or a family member. Be careful when it's that in that sense, make sure you set boundaries and there's contracts, even with family and friends, you've got contracts of working together and there's boundaries there as well. But I feel that you're gonna be working with someone or someone's coming in to offer you something to uh, either enhance your career or change your career. You've also got the uh, Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a very nurturing and loving card as well. So I feel that whether you're going to start your own business or whether you're going to go for that promotion you or study something new to be able to change your career. I want to say like nursing. So maybe nursing is something that people have been thinking of. I, some of you, I'm not sure. Um, you've got to go and start studying and you're really going to take care of your study. You're really going to put that time in. The Queen of Pentacles is also about you being very practical with it. Like, I can't leave my job right now, so I'm going to have to work around it. I'm going to have to sit with my schedule and work out how I'm going to work and do the kids and, and then work as well and have downtime. But if you're having, like, downtime every single night and you're spending, like... I, this is what I do. I say, oh, I don't want to watch a film because it's too late. But then I watch, like, seven episodes of Friends. I should have just watched a film because it would have been shorter. I feel like that's what you're doing. So it's like, do you know what? I can watch my friends or I can watch a film or I can watch whatever TV show that I enjoy watching after I've done this. My reward for studying for one hour, my reward for working on my business for one hour, my reward for looking for a job that's going to actually fulfill me and light me up for one hour, I can then go and watch whatever I want to go and watch on TV. You need to be really practical about which direction you want to go in. You could be a parent as well, maybe a, a, a solo parent, and you've got to provide for your family. Um, but once you start doing it and you're consistent with this, you are going to be very abundant and you're going to have a lot of security and prosper because you're doing something that lights you up. If you're not sure what that is, the high priestess here is asking you to go within. Really look within. Take some time out just to be with yourself. Go for a long walk. Exercise to clear your mind. Whatever, it does, whatever you can do to empty your mind of all the noise that's happening in the world and happening in your life right now, do it. Because then once you really can get quiet and really kind of look within, the answers that you are seeking will come to you. If you can't do anything like that and you want to meditate, brilliant, meditate. Even if you can't do that, one trick I learned a few weeks ago actually was to light a candle and stare at the candle. Just stare at it and then eventually your mind goes blank. I don't know how, if anyone knows why that works, then drop me a comment below because I have no idea, but it works. So whatever works for you, get quiet because the answers that you seek are already there. You're just, everything around you is just so bloody noisy that you can't, um, you can't hear it. You've also got the strength card and you're going to have to call within your inner strength here. You're going to have to shut up the critics on the outside and shut up the critic on the inside. Little Les Brown quote there. Um, and you're going to have to sometimes just jump and just take that leap of faith. You are just going to have to take that jump and see where it leads you. But I know that you are sick and tired of the daily grind and you know that there is more to life than this. You want to have... Um, you want to be financially stable and not for the money, but to for what money can give you time, freedom, family, time, spending more time with them. It's about that, isn't it? It's not about so much the money. It's about what the money can give you. And that is freedom. So you are going to have to call upon that inner strength. Know your why are you going for that promotion? Why are you going for a business? Why are you doing 
Why are you moving away for a job from all your friends and family to go for a job and it's something out of your character? Whatever it is, call on that inner strength and know that it is a usual intuition to know which direction to go. Your angels will talk to you, but you need to listen. Okay. Angel spirit, guys, what else do we need to know about um, our money and career, please? What else do we need to know about our money and career, please? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards of that one. I don't read reversals if you see me flip them upside down. That's the three of pentacles, teamwork. Okay, you're going to work with people here. You've got the two of cups, which is partnership. People are going to come in and help you. Um, and then you've got the three of pentacles as well. So you're going to have a lot of, uh, you're going to be working with other people to improve yourself. So angel spirit guys. Okay, and there we go. The chariot. Oh. And the Hermit, yes, and on the bottom of the deck, oh, Ten of Pentacles, okay. So we've got the Three of Pentacles here. This is about teamwork, okay? You're going to be working with people or people are going to come in and help you. So if you're going for promotion or you've just received your promotion or whatever it is, you're going to get people coming in that's going to be able to help you improve it. You might have, you might be calling upon people, even just family or friends, to help you write a really good CV or a really good proposal to why you should be getting this promotion. Um, if you're going for a new career or you need to apply to go to university or anything like that, you're going to find the right people that are going to come in to be able to help you with this and push you forward to write a really good um a CV or application to be able to get it you're going to have the right people coming in to really enhance that and give you more chance more opportunity for some of you when it comes to business you are going to be going you could be going into business with someone with a friend or a family member like I said set those boundaries and those contracts regardless of who they are set them anyway and you're going to work really well together and you're going to start building something and you're going to start getting quite, um, you're going to get momentum of it. You really are. And together, I feel that as long as you've got those boundaries in place, you're going to take this business places that you never thought it would. Because you've also got the chariot card and the chariot card is about movement and fast movement. As you can see, the horses that are running, you are on top of the carriage. You are leading the way of which direction you want your life to go in. You want this promotion and you're running towards it. You ain't letting no one stop you. You are rugby tackling these buggers out of the way because you know that promotion is yours and you are running towards it. You have made the decision that you don't want this career no more and you want to go into something else, something that you've always dreamed of doing but you never felt you were good enough. Side note, you are good enough. You are good enough to do anything you want to do. Slow and steady wins the race. It might take you a little bit longer than some people. That doesn't mean that you can't achieve it. You might have to do a little bit more work than other people. It doesn't mean that you can't achieve it. You can achieve anything you want, no matter the time frame. No matter if it takes some people six weeks or takes you six months or takes someone else six years. You'll get there if you keep pursuing it. And I feel with the chariot card, that's what you're about to do. Your head is in that right space. You're there. I am going for it. And you are leading it. If you're winning business with someone you are leading it together you are going we have we cannot fail we need to succeed at this no matter how many times we fail in the process we can't fail in the ultimate goal and you're going to start moving and moving quickly you've also got the hermit card here and i feel the hermit card is for you to really go within and really think about which direction that you want to go in Okay, it's about those values and those beliefs that you hold core to you. Does your current position that you're in, whether you want to go for promotion or go for a whole new company or a whole new career change like the angels are asking you to, do you really kind of, I'm just going to push that door, do you, um, what are your values and beliefs and does that line up? If you're going to start a business, what's your mission statement? What's your values? What's your beliefs towards this, towards your business? What is it? Okay, go really within and ask yourself, what do you want? Really do your soul searching. If you're not sure which career you want, really go within and, and decide where you want to go. Ask your angels, they will answer you. On the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, whatever position you choose, promotion, a whole new change, studying, a business, whatever it is that means that for you, you're going to... 
have a financial success. Okay, you're going to have security, you're going to prosper, you're going to be abundant. This is long term as well. I even know like it's scary going into something new. This is going to be long term. This is going to light you up. This is going to bring you the financial um, independence, abundance, security, stability that you are seeking. You are going to get it with this Ten of Pentacles. And it's going to be long lasting because you're so passionate and you so love it so much that you are going to, you're going to succeed long term. Okay. Right, Angel Spirit Cards, can you give us some clarification for the cards on the table, please? Can you give us some clarification for all the cards on the table, please? That's too many, thank you. What do we need? Okay. <laughs> we'll have these then. All right, we will, we will. Two of Cups again. The Two of Coins and the High Priestess. Wow. And the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Two of Cups, someone's coming in to offer you something. You're going to get that promotion. You're going to get that new job you've asked for. You're going to get that um, acceptance to the study guides, to the study network. Nurse, I don't know why I keep saying nursing, but that's what's coming. It could be anything, whatever resonates. That nursing application that you've gone for, you're going to get it. What, um, if you're going to start a business and you've gone to the bank for a loan or something like that, you're going to get it. Someone's coming in to help you with this. Whatever career change you want to do, you're going to achieve it because someone's going to come in and they're going to help you achieve it. They're going to give you the right information, the right tools, the right uh, how you make the right decisions. Whatever it may be for you, someone's going to come in and help you with the things that you are struggling with right now. You've also got the two of coins and the two of coins is about you finding balance. Don't rush into something like if you're going to run a business, oh, we're going to rush into it. We're going to do this. It's going to be amazing. Everyone's going to buy it. Rah! It doesn't work that way. It's a slow growth. So find that balance. Maybe you need to continue to work while you're building a business. Find the balance. If you are a working parent with the Queen of Pentacles, you, you could be a working parent. If you're a working parent, um, so that you've got your job, you've got your kids, you've got to run a house, you've got to have a life, and now you want to run a business, like, you're like, am I insane? Am I insane? And this is why you need to sit down with a big piece of paper and figure out, okay, how am I going to do this? Okay, from, this is something I learned a little while ago, it's, it's really helped me, from 5am till 9am, that's one, one block, from 10am till 1pm, that's second block, from 2 p.m. till 7 p.m. That's my third block. And from 7 p.m. onwards, that's my fourth block. Doesn't need to be those times, but time block it out. So for me, five till nine is me and my son. Then I work between 10 and, I work between 10 and two. And then between like three and seven, that's my time with my son. And then from seven onwards, I do a little bit more work and then I reward myself by watching TV or whatever it may be that I feel happy that I wanna reward myself with time block it out and find that balance so that you can do the things that light you up and it's going to bring you abundance but also you're able to do everything else that you need to do with your own life it's doable you just need to write it all out then you've got the high priestess so you're going to come across things like do i know how to do this and your inner critic is going to come in and they're going to say you can't do this stay where you are we're happy just watching the real housewives of whatever no, no, you're not, because that's not actually progressing me. Where am I going to get in my life if I don't do it? When you're stuck, when you don't know the answers, go within. Step away from the actual problem and go and do something completely different. And that's when the answers will come to you. Okay, so make sure all the answers are within you. So don't keep trying to seek other answers or trying new things over and over again. Just go within, put, put it down, put it down and walk away and go and do something else. And then when you take your mind off it, that's when the answers can come in. And the final card that you got was the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is about taking action and inspired action. It's not about taking like, well, oh, maybe I should do this. Like, no, you've done some research. You know what you're doing. You, you looked at this promotion. You know the hours, you know the pay, you know what you um, the requirements are and you just go for it you just go for it for some of you it could be the fact that you've been wanting to start a business or a career change for a while 
and all of a sudden you just do it without even thinking. You just do it, impulsively just do it, just like I did with this channel. Someone actually pissed me off. I don't know even what it was. It just really annoyed me. I thought, screw it, I'm just gonna do it. And I just set up my phone on a little table and I just started my channel. And it's still really new and it was really impulsive and out of there, but I love it. It's so much fun. And I love the fact that you comment as well. That, oh, it, oh, it fills me up with so much joy. So, you know, and it's my channel is growing because I love what I do. Is it where I want it to be? No, but I'm continuing to be consistent. And I feel for some of you, you are going to be really impulsive. It's just going to be like, boom, I'm just going to do it. And then all of a sudden, like, oh my God, I'm doing it. Oh my God. And it's going to be a new adventure for you. It's going to be so exciting for you. You're going to feel so passionate about it and so energized about it that you want to keep doing it. And eventually you'll be able to stop your soul sucking nine to five job, if that's what you have, so that you can live the life that you really want to live and doing something that you really want to do. So let's get some questions from our angel, shall we? So we've got the angel answer oracle card deck here. So ask um, your angels a question. If you don't know what that would be right now, please feel free to hit pause and come back to me. So angel spirit, guys, what's the answer to the questions that we seek? Oh, wow. Okay, they're already jumping out. Yes. Whatever it is, yes. Do it. Go for it. Go, 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 go. Don't wait. Don't waste another minute one more minute of you not doing it is one more minute towards your financial abundance and happiness yes do it yes 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 yes, yes. and the bottom of the deck trust trust in the universe trust in yourself even when you feel that you can't do it trust yourself you know you can you have probably gone through some kind of shit at some point in your life and you still got through it even though you didn't think you could you are here if you want to start that business if you want to go for that promotion if you want to change your career trust yourself that you can do it because you are one strong person that's all I've got for you today, my lovelies. I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Um, if this is something that you would like to see more of, then please drop a comment in the comment box below. I would love to... I'd love to know. Um, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe and that notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. I do them daily, weekly, monthly and the zodiac signs every single weekend. Um, and again, it will really help me grow my channel so I can help more people uh, gain a little bit of clarity in their time of need, just like it did for me. Whether that be in love, money, career or just general life. If you really did like this and you want more of it, please do drop a comment down below so I can know and I can do more, that you, more videos that you want to see. I hope that whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today and enjoy the rest of your day and week and month and year. And I will speak to you on the next one. Bye, guys.